Salmon Run is back. As seen in the most recent Nintendo Direct, Salmon Run makes a comeback in Splatoon 3 with sadly a small two minute trailer. But nonetheless, it's Salmon Run, so it's good to see it's back. It sure raises a lot of questions for what's in store with the new lore, but let's just stick with an analysis for every little detail in this trailer. For starters, we don't arrive on a boat anymore. We've been upgraded to a helicopter transport. In the surrounding area, we also see the return of the antenna pole things with what seems to be either fries or bars of gold stuck to them. Why? To be honest, no idea. Someday, maybe I'll talk about it. Also, when the helicopter flies by, there seems to be someone exclaiming in either excitement or panic. Take a listen and tell me what you think. Honestly, I'm not too sure, but in the next scene, it shows the four Inklings in brand new dandy outfits. Long gone are the overalls now replaced with bright safety vests. They're wearing their lifesavers, but it also seems that there's some hanging from the ceiling. And near the door, there's two little ornament plushies of a squid and octo, which I gotta say, pretty adorable. The other side also has gloves and what seems to be a cooler with little doodles of salmonids. Sadly, we don't get to see who's piloting the helicopter, but I'm assuming it's probably a jelly or maybe it's even on autopilot. It could even be that voice we heard earlier, but not entirely sure. The door then opens and the Inklings and Octolings launch out, which must be the cutscene that plays every time we play Salmon Run. And not gonna lie, that's pretty cool. I hope we get to see some more little cutscenes like this. I like them a lot. The Inklings and Octolings then land on the new map and we get to see a better view of their fresh new outfits. Now fitted with hard hats, with a headset, and headlamps. Which does make me wonder if there will be any dark levels, which gives us limited visibility with only our headlamps to give us light. Then the following just shows the start of casual Salmon Run gameplay. Nothing too crazy, no new weapons. What's neat though is that the names of the Inklings in play are Yarwal, Anemone number one, and Hero. What is this a reference to? Um, honestly not sure, but if you know, you should tell me in the comments. There doesn't seem to be anything so far in the background, and this kind of just seems to be your average Salmon Run map. There's just a building in the distance being operated by who knows what, and a giant chunk of land. There's more fishnets and corn on the cob stuck to these things. And then from there, we just get even more casual Salmon Run gameplay. The Salmonins invade, Inklings and Unklings fight them back, until BAM! Trailer exclusive cutscene of an Inkling looking at something. Unless this is a cutscene that introduces the new Salmon Run bosses in the tutorial. The music used in the background also seems to be new Salmon Run music, so that's always nice to hear. But anywho, in comes the brand new Salmon Run boss flying from the sky, the fish stick. A long pillar with a drill on the bottom used to stick onto the floor with tiny salmon flying around it, probably even flew it in themselves as a working propeller. The trailer showcases how to defeat it by inking the pillar, swimming up, then splatting all the salmon on the top. But by looking up, we see more of the stage in the background of what seems to be a giant tower with a crane on top of it, carrying a giant fried something. Now who's operating the building? Who knows? Jelly or Grisco employees. Or jellies that are Grisco employees. Then the trailer shows the next Salmonid boss, the Flipper Flopper. An armored dolphin-like fish who can jump into the air. It shoots a ring of ink onto the floor obstructing the inkling, only to then use a move similar to Splashdown. And the way to defeat it, it seems that you have to ink the ring before it flops down onto the floor. Then leaving it vulnerable so it can be splatted. And now, the coolest new feature added to Salmon Run. The Egg Throw. This opens up an all new egg delivery strat for faster deliveries and since later in the trailer it's shown that you can toss the egg multiple times and you can even toss the egg into the basket. Then the game continues to show more intense salmon on gameplay with bosses and salmon engulfing the area with returning bosses such as the Steel Eel, Drizzler, Moz, Stinger, and Flyfish. I'm sure the scrapper is in there somewhere unless they decided to finally retire them. Oh wait, just kidding, there he is. Anyways, we then get to see more Crab Tank gameplay with its icon visible in the top right. It seems to have two shooting modes with dual cannons, possibly with Rapid Fire being the ZR button and Strong Attack being the R button. We then see the Inklings and Octolings tossing the egg and teamwork into the basket like I said earlier, and they celebrate their victory as we all do, booyahing and shooting into the air. Until then the game glitches and we get to see a big ol' Salmonid. There's no pupils on him, it's just a big chunky body with chains and an anchor on it. Now, what in the world is this thing? I honestly have no clue. It could be king of the salmonids or a mega boss of some sorts. Now will this mega salmonid be involved in the lore? I hope. 
we sadly don't get much info on this guy, so we'll just have to wait and see what he's all about. The trailer does somewhat give us a reference to how big this thing is by the helicopter footage showing it near the Samurai map. And in the thumbnail art, we can see that this thing is Godzilla size. But finally, bam, Splatoon 3 Salmon Run, next wave. Salmon Run is back, and I am so glad to see that it is. Oh yeah, and we still don't have a release date, but that's okay, because we get to see new Agent 3 with a flip phone and our little buddy. And that's the whole Salmon Run trailer. We sadly didn't get to see much lore. This was solely gameplay based, but this just leaves a bunch of brand new possibilities for Salmon Run. I still feel like this was a very small trailer and there wasn't really too many things to look at unless I did miss something. So that would be pretty sad, but luckily you can tell me in the comments below. But this trailer also opened up a lot of questions like, is Mr. Grizz still in command of Grisco Industries? How is our little bud involved with the Salmonids? Do they have any kind of correlation? What does the brand new Salmon Run area look like? What's coming back to Salmon Run? Are we getting the Golden Boy comeback? Are we getting the Alien Invasion back? Are we probably getting some kind of brand new Endless Salmon Run mode? Which would be kind of sick. I have been wanting that for a while. And I honestly would think it would be really, really cool if we could get some kind of Endless mode with high scores to see who survived the longest, to see who's the best Salmon Run player out there. But I don't know. I have high hopes for Salmon Run. It's a very good game mode, and I really do enjoy it a lot. So I'm glad to see it's making a comeback. Oh yeah, and once again, what is that giant salmonid thing? Seriously, it looks menacing and so cool at the same time. I don't think I'm gonna ask too many questions about that though in this video, maybe in a future video, so stay tuned for that. And I hope we get some kind of brand new Splatoon trailer or even a direct. That would be pretty sick. I still feel like we're missing a lot of information, such as ranked modes, more lore and story clips, whatever happened to Off the Hook, maybe even get some new information if we do get new idols. But for now, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And hey, click that bell for more Splatoon and Nintendo content. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.